Hmm. Olivia Wilde Possessed. Should be interesting, right? Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review the newest horror movie, The Lazarus Effect. So The Lazarus Effect stars Olivia Wilde, Mark Duplass, Donald Glover, Evan Peters, and Sarah Bolger. And the plot is about the scientists that are doing this project called The Lazarus Project. And they're trying to bring this dog back to life. When they brought the dog back to life, everything's all dandy and then something goes horribly wrong. So then they're doing all of these tests on the dog. When Olivia Wilde flips a switch, she gets electrocuted and she dies. So Mark Duplass Plas's character tries to bring her back to life, and they do, but shit goes down because Olivia Wilde is possessed, and, well, it's a horror movie. You could pretty much guess what else is going to happen from there. So I'm not going to lie, going into the Lazarus effect, I actually had hope for this movie. I actually thought it looked intriguing, like just the premise looked like it could be interesting, a fun film. That's what I was hoping from The Lazarus Effect. And what I think of The Lazarus Effect? This movie sucked. Oh my god. What the fuck did I just actually watch? And it's such a bummer too because I actually thought this could be a pretty cool horror movie. But no, I just got a shitty horror movie that has your typical jump scares here and there, that has your typical writing, your predictability that's too obvious, and... <sighs> Let me get to my positives because there are positives to this movie. Now the first positive I do have for The Lazarus Effect is that the setup for the movie is actually interesting. I really liked how the movie opened. You had your opening credits to the movie, which I really liked, really good imagery. The group have their little conversations, they're doing their tests, so I was invested in this movie for like a good maybe first. 25 minutes of the movie, I should say. But then, unfortunately, once Olivia Wilde dies, that's when things just really start to fall downhill. The performances in this movie are actually not too bad. There's good performances and there's average performances. The good performances are from Olivia Wilde, Mark Duplass, and Evan Peters, yes, Quicksilver from X-Men Days of Future Past is in this movie, ladies and gentlemen. He's a comic relief, and there are moments here and there where he did make me laugh, so I did really enjoy his character. And then the average performances, <laughs> see, yeah, you can tell how much I like this movie. Uh, and then the average performances are from Donald Glover. His reactions weren't believable to me, but like I said, he wasn't bad in the movie. He did his job well. He was serviceable. Same for Sarah Bulger, who plays the red-headed girl in the movie. The one that films everything in the Lazarus Project. She was average too. I wasn't really buying into her reactions either. And then I do have to say that the film does have a few creepy imagery that I thought was really intriguing. Imagery like heaven, hell. I thought the movie did a really well done job with those moments. Now, here are my negatives with this movie. It is too damn predictable. And it doesn't even try. Look, I say this a bunch of times. I don't mind predictability in movies. As long as you have a way to make them refreshing, make them entertaining, I could care less about if it's predictable. But if the predictability is so obvious and you have lazy, shitty writing to go along with it, then that's where I have a huge issue. The jump scares, you get your fake ones, you get your real ones, those are predictable too. You could always point out, okay, that's when that jump scare is gonna happen and then boom, 
it happens. The storyline feels really messy and it really gets lost. Once Olivia Wilde became possessed, and I won't credit Olivia Wilde, she did do a good job of looking possessed. I actually believed she was possessed. That's another pro I did have with the movie. That's when the movie felt so lost. Of course, all of them are going to be stuck inside this lab when they could have done something smart like call the ambulance and all this. Oh yeah, but then the characters, when they were going to do that, another character would tell them, no, don't do this because it's going to fuck up the whole Lazarus Effect project. Your project is already fucked up when Olivia Wilde became possessed. It's not creepy because the execution is just so poorly done. And then you do have your typical stupid moments that just happen involving like decisions that characters make. It just really doesn't deliver any surprises. <laughs> and then I don't even want to bother going in details with the ending. All I'm going to say is that the ending would have been fine for what it was supposed to look like it would end, but since they decided to do a completely different direction with the ending, literally like the last 30 seconds or one minute of the movie, uh, <laughs> oh my god. The movie is 83 minutes, so even if you do have to suffer through the movie, at least you don't have to suffer through it for that long. You get an 83 minute lazy crappy movie that doesn't add anything to the overall story. There's no real build up. There's no real tension to the movie. The movie just doesn't do a good job of executing these creepy moments and these religious aspects to it. Overall, the Lazarus effect is just just another very predictable, very lazy, and very crappy movie. So I'm going to give The Lazarus Effect one and a half out of four stars. It's already one of the worst movies of 2015. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of The Lazarus Effect? Did you like it? Did you hate it? We're all gonna have different opinions on movies, so if you like this movie, there is no shame on that at all. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!